Hi, today I'd like to show you how to create an online store using WebWave Website Builder. You will find out how to make a product page, sell digital products, and also how to adjust the setting of your store. Let's start with creating a new product subpage and sell some dope bicycles. At first, we want to create a new subpage and insert the photo gallery to show our product. Delete the default photos and from the image bank, pick another three. Great. Now we should add text element and the description, men's city bike. Don't forget about the most important part, add to the cart button. It's worth noting that by adding this button, we actually create the product. Let's set the price and the tax rate. We can also add a description and a thumbnail that will show up for instance in the confirmation email. We can add even more options like color and size for our customers to choose from. Today we offer three different colors, black, green and red, and also three size variants, 20 inches, 22 inches and 24 inches. The biggest one, we only have one left, so let's make it $100 more expensive. Perfect. One more thing that we need to do is to change the color of the button, both in the normal state and when we hover. I'm also going to change the name of our page to Men's City Bike. And now let's move to the home page and link the button so that it will direct us to the product page. As an after click action, let's pick the right sub page. Now it's time to publish the website and see if everything works correctly. Just one click and we can buy the bike from the products page. Let's add the bike to the cart, pick the color and the size. Moving swiftly on, we can fill in all the contact information. But hurry up before it's sold out. Let's go back to the main page and set up our online store so everything is as we want it to be. At the top bar, click Store and Store Settings. Let's set online payments as possible. We can use Stripe here. When it comes to shipping, we can offer eco-friendly and international shipping. Don't forget to set the price of every option. Below, toggle acceptance of shop terms and conditions and add a link to the page with set terms and conditions. It's also a good idea to give our customer a chance to sign up to the newsletter. Let's publish the website once again and compare how the checkout looks right now. We can see the payment option and all the agreements. Nice! There is one more thing that we would like to sell and it's a digital product, an ebook. Let's make a little more space on the website and from the pre-made elements, pick whatever we need. This button seems unnecessary. We can also change the image. I'm going to find a new one in the free image bank. Mm, this one is fine. It would be nice to give our ebook a catchy title. Maybe something like the most beautiful bicycle roads. Don't forget about the add to the cart button and the product settings. Let's type ebook. Price is $10 because we've worked really hard on it. Some description and a thumbnail. Great. But what about our ebook? Where can we find it? That's a great question. First, we need to add it to the file library in the website builder. Go to My Images and Files and upload a PDF with our ebook. Once it's loaded, copy the link and go to the button settings. Toggle the message sent after purchase and paste the link here. Final touch, let's change the button's color and voila! Our online store is ready and waiting for the first client. Good job! As you can see, setting up an online store is pretty easy. In the next video, I will show you how to create a blog in less than 5 minutes. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!